Welcome everyone to a new, uh, another episode, sorry, of Hanging in Bear Country. I'm your host, Brian Martinez. With me always is... Michael Myers. We're never going to get that right, are we? We're never going to get that right, Brian. Right, I, I want right. you to face that fact. We're never going to get that right. <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe a womp womp, but it's a fact. It's a horrible fact. Yeah. Uh, and welcome back to of our previous guests. Whoopee! Oh, yeah. We have some new Hi. guests okay, with us today. Or actually, not, not new guests, but recurring yeah, they, guests. Yeah, recurring. They've been okay. here before. Would you guys like to reintroduce yourselves? Yeah. Just to remind people you know, who you guys are. I'm uh, Isaiah. I'm a senior here. Yeah. And I'm in broadcasting. Awesome. And sure, drama production. Good. Drama awesome. production. Night of the Living Dead. Shout out. Check it out. Yes. Shout outs are crazy, but um, I'm <laughs> Valley Martinez, freshman, cheerleader, broadcasting. Yes, sir. Right. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what's it called? With it being so, Halloween. Yeah, it's getting right? spooky. It's getting very spooky, getting with very decor, scary. I mean. Yeah. Uh, yeah, obviously, with everything that we have so right scary. here. <gasps> what, is that, what is that thing? Brian, whatever you do, <laughs> Uncle don't, don't look up behind you. Don't look up. Don't oh, my God, up. guys. It's Elvis. <laughs> so scary. <laughs> Man, listen, oh, Brian. Okay. If you think yeah. that's scary, don't look up behind you. Don't, don't look up. What's up there? <laughs> my God, it's Bigfoot. <laughs> but anyways. Uh, that is not what we were looking Okay, anyways. Uh, the thing that comes with uh, scary season and whatnot is uh, scary, scary stories. Whatnot. Scary stories, yeah. ghost stories, you know, a little bit of it, a little in between. Uh, so I can, so we'll be talking about little ghost stories that we've, you know, like encountered or scary stories we've encountered. I can talk about one. Mine's more of a ghost story and not, not really scary, but just kind of like, huh, like that's weird. <laughs> so uh, I talked about this last year too, Ian. So I think you know yeah, what I'm going to talk uh, about right maybe. now. So, my grandma passed away, I want to say when I was around like 9 or 10, mm-hmm. or something like that, and like really, really affected me. I felt really bad because, you know that saying where it's like, uh, you don't know what you have until you've lost it? Yeah. 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 I, I'm not going to lie. I was very much of a not cool guy because I would always just kind of like blow her off and just be like, you know, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Oh, yeah, I'll talk to you man. later. And then later finally came. You, uh, whoa. And then yeah. later finally like, arrived and whatnot. And so it just, yeah, when she passed, I, I, I was very uh, torn up about that. Uh-huh. And so what's it called? A year afterwards on her birthday, sometime in September, or at least leading up to her birthday, I can't remember when specifically, uh, I had a dream. And then, like, it kind of spilled into reality where I dreamed that I was back in uh, the old home where she was at. Wow. Right? Or, like, so her, her old home. Like, I, I'd, I'd never been there where she grew up. Right. Essentially, like, like back in, you've in, ne- in. So you've never been to this house? I've never been to this house. I've only heard about it. And uh-huh. yet it was so, like, detailed. Wow. I guess. Like, it was almost as if, like, I constantly like visited. Yeah. Right? Because, it, like, it's not like a dream where it's just, like, Everything's kind of like blurred out, and everything's whoa. kind of whoa. Well, seems like there's a ghost <laughs> in the, the studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's not. Here. The Graham's <laughs> Graham, Graham, Graham came back. Graham, Graham <laughs> came back. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, my oh. Hey, Brent, she's here to say hi. <laughs> this is going really sad. Though. I'm not even gonna lie. No, no, it's okay, so just, keep going. And so, what's it called? Um, like, like you know how, like in dreams, it's just kind of like. Um, Everything's kind of like blurry, yeah. yeah. Almost like like it's familiar, but also not familiar. And like this gravity. was the complete opposite. Like I, I knew exactly where I was at, despite never being there. You know, yeah. I, I knew the entire interior layout. And so then I I went to her, and she was still in the, in the last way that I saw her, which was like older. Mm-hmm. You know, so she was older, and she was just like knitting a sweater, and she was just like, oh, hey, mijo, and I'm just like, what, what the. the- She's like, come on, sit down. There wasn't even a chair next to her. And then just, <laughs> she chair pops chair. up. I'm like, oh, yeah, what kind of reality are we living in? <laughs> Bro, I think she's gone. <laughs> hey, Grandma. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> takes a seat. How you doing? Casually. It's like, oh, and you're so, totally not dead. And so that was like a year afterwards. She knew everything that was going on in my life, apparently. What? She was asking like, oh, so I see a Japanese math teacher. What? He's a jerk. And I'm like, you don't happen to know. Yeah. What Ooh. the? Oh, you no, name well, dropped. Well, not Graham awesome. Grams is after you. No, Graham oh, Grams. You can't. My dad's want to bleep that out. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry about that. What's it called? Sorry about that. So what's it called? So that happened, or just like, oh, I, ha- I heard that you got this grade on your assignment. So you're not paying attention in class. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so dang. I'm just like, what? Do I <laughs> so this and so this has been a reoccurring dream for the last. Let's see. I was ten for the last seven years, essentially. So right. she, so my what? my grandma in my dream knows everything that has transpired transpired in the last seven years. 
both That's... with me and in my family and whatnot, like, and like and like family drama and whatnot. Wow. You... And so and so essentially every year yeah. on that day without fail, because like like because I'm thinking, oh, one of these days like it'll stop happening, you know, like like she'll finally be like, all right, I have my fun. Peace. No, no more. And just, and yeah, just, just finally like move up. Despawn. But she's like, no, I want to have a chat with my <laughs> Captain grandson. America. Just. I don't think I will. I don't think like I will. Constantly just, I can just do this up for lost all day. Time. I can do this all day. I can do, <laughs> I can do this, all this all day. And so, yeah. And so that it's a constant occurring dream to the point where like, when I go to bed, I'll tell my mom casually, I'll, I'll, I'll say about a gra- I'll, I'll say hi to grandma for you. Yeah, like anything you want to tell grandgrams? And she'll, and she'll like jokingly say, oh, tell her I say hi. And then wake up. Hey, mom says hi. About time. <laughs> she'll, like, go, and she'll go back to like knitting. Yeah. Yeah. What's crazy though, Kate, she'll, she'll knit a different sweater. Right, mm. every time, right? yeah, she's, she's always knitting, and so why are we? Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, she'll knit a different sweater every time, and whoa, earthquake! Yeah, oh, she, Dylan's back there. Uh, oh. he's, he's working. He's working. She'll mm. knit a different sweater every time, and so I wake up feeling warmer than like like it could be like like twenty degrees in my room, like super cold, and yeah, right. I can wake up feeling super warm because she'll make me try on the wow. jacket, and so I wake up and I'm like, why do I feel itchy? And I'm like, I'm like, I'm not wearing any. Like, yeah, well, like. All, all I'm wearing is like a short sleeve shirt. Right. Why do I feel like I was wearing a sweater like yeah. five minutes ago, bro? Why am I all itchy? So yeah, that's incredible. And then like sometimes in real life, uh, literally, okay, <laughs> I might want to go into a psych ward because this might be an actual problem. But just out of nowhere, I could just hear her go, "Hi, Miko," or "Hey, how you doing?" I'm just out of nowhere. <laughs> sometimes, like you just walk, just like dude, I could just be vibing. Do, I could do, 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 just do, sitting on the toilet and then literally, no, literally, hola, I mijo, just, oh. <laughs> And then it all comes. You, well, Brian. you're not constipated no. anymore. It all comes oh. flying out. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you, Brian. Thank you, Literally Brian. scared the you yeah. know what out of yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, Brian, Brian. It's like, a, it's like an NPC. Who said that? Who said <laughs> Who goes uh, Who is there? it? Where are you? So, yeah. Show yourself. <laughs> so that's that's my little uh, uh, ghost story. It's less of a ghost story, more like a ghostly. It's a bit like, paranormal, but you know what's paranormal nice? Reoccurring. I want to talk to your grandma. It is nice. Yeah, she, say hi to her for me next I time. I will we, do. Yeah, <laughs> say, tell, you say hi. Oh next time. Yeah, she sounds nice. Hell, the past, the past recent dream, actually, she was like, oh, so I hear that you're, or I see that you want to be this thing. And, you know, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. She goes, yeah, that's, that's one thing to do, I guess. Like, oh, well, what would you have preferred me to do? Passive aggressive. <laughs> what? What look did she want? I'm, look, all I'm saying is that the trumpet was a much better instrument. And I'm like, oh, okay, grandma. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's my little uh, paranormal ghostly activity. Anyone else have? Nice. Yeah. Like I have a story, but real quick, I feel like that's like paranormal, but I also feel like it's pretty sweet, too. Yeah, it it's is. heartwarming. It is. It, it's, it's really yeah. nice. Yeah, but on to my story. Uh, oh, I don't know how to move on. Right now. <laughs> I just no. It's just it's just a story. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't have to. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's true, that's true. But basically, this is not my story that happened to me. It actually happened to um, my uncles and my aunts. But basically, my mom told me this like when I was like five. But I still remember it so oh, detailed. Wow. Okay. Okay. So basically, how it goes is like my um, family. They're originally from Mexico, right? Durango. Mm. But they came to America, they got their papers and everything. Awesome. And then, um, they were pretty young too. So my two uncles, I'm not going to name drop right here cause, uh, I don't want to expose them. But don't my make my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, my two Damn uncles drop. and aunt, they would go to the club just to like hang out. Cause they were like in their twenties, like early twenties, basically. And there was this one time that they went to this club in Linwood uh, I don't even I don't remember what it's called, but they were just like drinking, dancing, having fun, and they noticed this one lady. She was like, it was a really pretty lady too, like good body, good looks, all that personality. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Most um, important thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> My bad. Oh. Okay. Buddy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. And and Ernesto. Okay, but basically she was really pretty, but she was like very cocky i guess like mm. there would be a lot of guys that would go ask her out to dance and she'd be like oh no i don't want to like not with you hard to get yeah. um so it was like guy after guy after guy that would ask her, and she's like no 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 but then there's this one guy he was like how my mom described him he's like tall handsome um like good body and stuff like that like well dressed too and he goes up to her and he asks her oh do you want to dance just describe ian uh, a- shut up <laughs> bro. well you know what i'll take that as a compliment <laughs> thank you Isaiah. shut oh, up wow, bro. Okay. Nah, let this story hey, look, continue he's, he's well dressed, the- man. continue continue it's you not gonna it, end up too good for you ian but um, oh, sh- okay well never no, no, mind <laughs> no wait okay so basically he goes like she she tells him yeah like i'll dance with you so then they go to the dance floor they start dancing 
And then, like, my uncles and aunt, they're, like, they're seeing this. I don't know why they were being, like, paying attention so much to that. I guess it was something off about it. Mm-hmm. But they noticed that, like, the lady looks down at his feet and that, like, instead of having, like, human feet, he has a horse foot and a chicken foot. And the second she sees that, she just starts screaming, like, for, like, blood curling scream wow and then that's when my mom told me tells me that like everything in the club shuts off like <sighs> lights turn off music shuts off everything just dark and then because it was a horse oh <laughs> in, no. in the, bar, yeah. <laughs> the horse is here no 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 <laughs> Peter, no, no, no. The horse is here. <laughs> uh, like all the lights cut off and then when they come back on the guy the Oh, he's here. Bro, the he's horse is here. here. Yeah, he's, he's here. here. He's here. Oh, he's the here. What <laughs> the horse man? No, no, no. He <laughs> is. Like, the lights, like, turn. Oh, that's actually, like, that. The lights just went turn out of the studio. Yeah. No, uh-huh. like, Except one. For those who can't center. see. Oh, we're oh, back. He left. Lights oh. are back okay, on. Okay, but the lights turn back on. And then. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, finish up your story. Yeah, I think he's yeah, yeah. getting mad. Keep going, keep going. But the lights turn back on, and then the guy's gone, and the lady's like on the floor, but she has like burn marks on her. Mm. Nobody, like, I don't know if anyone saw a fire, oh. but there were like burn marks on wherever the guy touched her. What? And then, like, that's when everyone started like running out the club. Like, they did not know what just happened. But when my mom tells me that they think that the guy was like either a, a, demon, a demon or the devil. Wow. <laughs> well, you know, to be fair, the she, devil is a good looking but, guy. Uh, did have you not Isaiah, seen, have you not Isaiah what did you say about Ian? She kind of... <laughs> <laughs> the devil in disguise right here, guys. All right. <laughs> that, that's, that's why all this uh, all this paranormal stuff is happening. We have him here. Makes sense. He does not Ian, like... you actually uh, could pull that off for Halloween. Probably. I think... Uh, I think yeah. You, you can pull it off. Just buy some like cheap little horns. Not <laughs> sense. So... Yeah, but like, I don't know. And it's something that like still sticks with me to this day. Like the fact that... To think that you're in the same room mm-hmm. as the devil or a demon, that's pretty scary. And it was like, just imagine like on some random Saturday di- night, not even in October or anything. You say like March. <laughs> like, bro, what? Well, there's always a rational explanation. Well, how about like yeah. a random Tuesday in uh, October? <laughs> Ra- yeah, yeah. How about Tuesday, Tuesday night, right now? Who goes to a club on a Tuesday? Yeah. Actually, mean, yeah, okay, to be fair, who who in their right mind is saying, you know what I want to do on a Tuesday afternoon? <laughs> Let's go to the Let's bar. Go to the club. Let's go to the club. Speaking of which. Me and the boys at 3 a.m. on a Tuesday night at the club. Like, right. that, you never hear that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, you know, that's going to, yeah, so. Yeah. So, yeah that's, just that's, that's like how true. that club ended up fading out, so will we. We're going to oh. fade out with today's episode. Right, Thank lads. you guys so much. For, uh, or Ooh. sorry, I, I do, we still have, yeah. do we still have, do we still have more time? We Isaiah. do. Yeah. Okay, we have right. time okay. for one more story. Good. So uh, mine, I the more I think about it, it might have been a hallucination, which is even more scary. <laughs> That's even worse, bro. Are you because uh, I think it was heat stroke. Oh. oh. So basically, what had happened was when I was about twelve. Okay. Um, me, my mom, and at the time my stepdad. Mm. We were, I guess, living in like a sort of like ch- trailer, basically. Mm, okay. And uh, I was sleeping on the couch. And the, the layout is important because it was the entrance, yep. the couch immediately next to it. I guess the, mm. the normal appliances, kitchen, table. Yeah, yeah. Straight hallway. And then w- it was the bed and the bathroom. And there was a curtain dividing it. Mm. So I would sleep on the couch normally. And uh, one day it was like super hot. And keep in mind, this is like winter, right? December. Whoa. For some reason, I woke up like really hot, sweating. Um, I like look over, and there's just this like all like shadowy, all black creature, no facial features whatsoever. Huh. Oh, but like it's know. it's peeking out through the curtain, like looking at me. Hello there. Just kind of like <laughs> no, literally. Just- wait, 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 Isaiah, I have a question. Did you have a top hat? Oddly specific. He's the sheriff. The face He's was... the sheriff around these parts. He's just keeping a good eye out on our friend. The face Isaiah. was uh, the face was sort of like elongated. It was weird. Like no Ooh. facial, no mouth. Or, yeah, mouth. Oh. It, it had like a mouth, super no long. eyes. Okay. Oh. And like long, 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 long fingers. Oh, heck no, man. Uh, and though. like it was like super hot, and I'm like I could see that, and I tried to go and sleep. I couldn't. And so, like, every now and then, I genuinely do see that thing every now and then. So I Probably think, just your sleep oh, paralysis demon making, oh <laughs> making himself aware. He's like, hi, That's hi. Yeah. My <laughs> name's Jeff. Good to meet you. I'm going to be it's haunting like, your dreams for the next couple of years. Good. 
Yeah. Good Point, to see you. How you doing today? But I know, on, I know man. it's not a dream because I'm like fully, no, yeah. like I'm able to move. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's oh, okay, just like, it's not sleep paralysis. Yeah. Being yeah. stalked by yeah. a shadow demon. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I take it. Happens to the, happens to the best it? of us, man. I, hey, man, crazy. it's the most interesting thing that's happening right now. I, yeah, it's like when Dylan saw he thought he saw a skinwalker in his backyard. Turns out it was just a dog. <laughs> yeah. All right. oh my. Speaking of which, uh, but, glad that we all get to share at least uh, oh, well, I one didn't. story. Well, it's rubbish because anyway. It's no, not say important. It, say well, it, actually, no, I have, I have the best, I have really the best stories, but give us the you'll hear, you'll hear no the next on the next podcast. Ian, yep, give, Ian, give us the cliff notes. No, it's all right. You'll have to wait for that in the next time. The next podcast. So thank you guys so much for hanging with us in Bear Country. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Watch out for them shadow demons. Oh, okay. If you see him, say hi.